Oh. <laughs> so, um, I secretly spied on a salon. Or, not really secretly, I guess, but like, accidentally. Um, well, let me, let me just show you here. So this is, um, this is a hotel lobby. I was staying in a hotel while moving between apartments. And, um, this is the door people walk in and out of. And on top of that door, there's kind of this, it sort of looks like a frame. And I was just filming that, you know, just filming out the window, just looking at the architecture. But, um... When I was editing, I noticed this thing in the, if the, in the top right corner of the frame here. There's a salon across the street. See that? It's like little, um, it's like wigs in the window and this guy's getting his hair cut. Just like this, some comb action there. He looks really happy about his haircut. Just this tiny, intimate moment. Life bursting through. I love those kind of surprises when you film something. This footage has no surprises. This is exactly what I wanted it to be. Ex well, except for um, this um, coming up here. There's like a weird shape. This looks like, look at that mixed recyclables. What kind of thing goes in there? <laughs> I don't know. It feels like a weird like IQ test. But anyway, um, yeah, I wanted to just film these like surfaces because um, I wanted to talk about this odd feeling I get when staying in hotels. I, get, I just focus in on like the glass and the, the blank walls and the kind of art that doesn't offend anyone and the, the metal of the elevator. And I always study the, the bathroom tile looking for like aberrations, you know? Or just looking for like things that aren't perfect about the grid. Or I look at how the floor meets the wall. How doors are anchored. Lighting. Soap dispensers. How the shower is mounted. The air ventilation. The soap dispensers. The, the concrete the weird contraptions and the decisions. I, I wanted to play tennis on this diagram. The ball is already there. <laughs> this was, um, this was just my little work set up while we were there. Anyway, I was filming all these things precisely because they are boring. And, uh, but don't click off. Well, let me, let me cook. <laughs> um, there's something luxurious about the boring. And I think, in a way, that's maybe what this video is about. For me, driving is the same way. Um, this was an Uber ride from someplace, I can't remember, maybe a restaurant, going back to the hotel. And um, I don't drive, I, like I literally don't drive, I don't have a license. I hate cars, I hate car culture. I hate that cities are built around cars, especially in the United States. This is a different car right now, by the way, just for uh, um, authenticity's sake. I should mention that, I feel. But anyway, um, yeah, when I don't drive, but uh, sometimes I'm a passenger. And uh, there is a luxury to that. There's a luxury to be able to, you know, you're not responsible for the literal life and death decisions that are involved in driving. I mean, it's like absurdly dangerous to be driving. No one should be driving. <laughs> um, but since no one agrees with me and everyone is driving, that means sometimes I get to be a passenger. Uh, and being a passenger is really interesting in some ways because you're allowed just being, you know, a vegetable <laughs> looking out the window. Um, especially if you're in a car with a group of people, so you're, you're not responsible for keeping the conversation going necessarily <laughs> or being super social. Or if you're being driven by like an Uber driver or something too, or uh, in a taxi, you're sort of, uh, you're, I guess you're paying for the privilege of 
not necessarily engaging all that much. <laughs> um, anyway, I like just looking out the window and letting the, the kind of world go by, you know? And I think that there is a luxury in that. It's about kind of taking the time. And uh, a lot of us have some time, we just don't take it. And I think what I mean is that, and I've talked about this on, on this channel before, uh, about taking the time to really take in everything in front of you and the luxury of that, just um, the ability to, to zone out and almost, it's a kind of meditation, I suppose. Just watching all the people going about their lives. See that in the distance, these people crossing the street. And the cars waiting to like, kill them if they had a chance. <laughs> anyway, this kind of shot is really interesting, I think, because... You have the reflection in the car windows, that's like one angle. And as we get going here, that gets slightly more interesting. You know, stuff kind of scrolling by in the reflection. Then you have the, the main look at that, of course, in the, in the window here. And then on the right, the actual world going by. Although to you, it's not the actual world, it's a video of the actual world. So you're like two, three, four levels deep here. Does anyone remember that meatloaf song? Objects in the rearview mirror may appear closer than they are. I guess he sort of rewrote what these mirrors actually say. He, re he rewrote it to be clunkier, which is... <laughs> which is very... Um, that's inspiring to me. <laughs> His other song too, that... Um, what is it? I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. He's sort of the uh, master of writing long clunky things that don't quite say what you think they should say which uh, as you can probably tell if you've been watching my recent videos I guess that <laughs> that's something I'm trying to do too except I'm not even writing this I'm just kind of winging it which I'm sure you can tell someone commented on my last video they said um, <laughs> literally the entire comment was just you're not really saying anything which I thought was uh, fair and accurate. But I think in this video, I, I kind of am saying something. It's not really clear what, but uh, there's something to this. <laughs> By the way, if you've been watching this channel for a while, which you probably haven't, but uh, there are some people, some gluttons for punishment <laughs> that have been sticking around. Um, you may be missing some of the videos I was doing earlier, um, but rest assured I will be doing more of those videos in the future. I, I did a couple of videos about animated films that actually did get quite a lot of views, and uh, I'll be doing more of those. I'll be doing more videos about, you know, art and animation and filmmaking and culture and design and all that good stuff. Um, but I guess I feel like those videos are about art, whereas these black and white videos I'm doing are a little bit closer to maybe being art. Um, for example, look at this. I feel like this looks like Italian marble, you know, this, these shadows from, from the tree branches and then like an attractive couple walking by in front of Italian marble even though it's really the ugly west side highway <laughs> of Manhattan. I'm always, I'm always fascinated by how at the edges of cities, and I know Manhattan the best, but near the edges of cities, they're allowed to look their ugliest, you know, where the cars are, uh, usually highways are sort of pushed out to the edges of busy cities, especially um, cities that have, have water near them um, and I always like those areas in a way the ugly areas because 
they often are, they're kind of like the utilitarian part of the city, you know, where like all the infrastructure is happening. You know, usually you'll have like warehouses and like FedEx, you know, locations and UPS storage facilities or like where all the trucks are parked. Sometimes you have like trains, um, just, and like a lot of like B2B stuff, meaning like business to business, like a lot of businesses where you're like, what? What does this business do? You know, they're less consumer facing and more like just like weird. Like, oh yeah, we do the, you know, we deliver the like machine parts to this other machine part that this kind of business that you've never heard of needs in order to do this logistical thing that you also never heard of, but that is absolutely essential for this third or fourth type of business. Um, that supplies the kind of business that you interact with or interface with as a consumer. I like being exposed to all that stuff. Anyway, this is uh, some more fake Italian marble here, courtesy of the sun and shadows. So and when I was saying before that these videos that I've been doing, these black and white videos, that they're closer to art, I know that sounds very pretentious, especially because they're so unprepared and we're just looking at the world. We're just basking in the the luxury of time, you know, just looking at random stuff while I say random stuff. How can that be art? How can it be art that a guy doesn't prepare, <laughs> that doesn't write a script and thinks it's okay to, to make a video like this? Once again, I don't have an answer, but I'm, I guess I'm just doing this anyway. Um, encouraging you to um, just take in the world. Just look. Just look. That's what we're doing here. Just endlessly looking at people, at buildings, at shadows, at cars, at all the sort of infinite texture of the world. And sometimes you just land on something like this object here and you're forced to ponder what on earth is that? What's it for? You know? And what's any of this for? I'm sorry that I don't have the answer. But hopefully, um... This wasn't the biggest waste of time. Although I know it's competitive. See you next time.